Hi everyone, this is Chauke speaking and uh, I'm a facilitator of building and structural construction N6 at Majuba Tivet College. I'll be taking you through the same subject and we're going to be looking at trust design. So this is going to be part 2A of our lesson. All right. We're going to be using Bischoff as our reference book. All right. So what I did here, I went on to take um, a question from my previous exam question paper, which is April 2011. Okay. So it is question number five. It is question number five. So um, the question reads like, the figure below shows a connection of a steel roof with forces acting on member A and B as indicated. The member A and B are single discontinuous angle iron profiles fixed both sides to 12 mm cassettes. So if you can see here, here is our diagram. So the member A, which is a tie, is it's got a force 88 kilonewtons and uh, member B which is a strut has got a force 96 kilonewtons okay so now this question is in three parts all right so it is or the examiner has combined the fillet or the welds connection the bolts connection as well as a um, trust design so it is very important that you go through the videos that i've made already um, on um, the welds connection and also on the trust design um, and there is a video that i made on bolt connection but it's for n5 so just to go and have a refresher course for yourself go and have a look at that video okay i also made some notes and a clip for you on uh, uh, bolt connection all right regarding n6 work so you should also go and have a look if you need more clarity on that so now the examiner can combine all these or these three topics to be one in the exam. Sometimes he can or she can ask these topics separately. So I decided to take a question which or where all the all these three topics are combined. So we're gonna start with 5.1. 5.1 it says part A is fixed to the gasset plate by means of 4,6 M16 bolts. Okay, and then we are required to determine the number of bolts that can safely secure member A to the gasset plate. All right, the threads of the bolts is in the shear plane. Okay, so this obviously talks about the bolt connection. Okay, the grid of the bolt is 4,6 and the size of the bolt is 16. Remember, it is for part A, which is what? The member A, all right, which is this one with the force 88 kilonewtons. Okay, so now we go to the solution. So again, we're going to determine... The number of bolts. The formula is going to be like this one. F is equal to N pi into D minus 0 0.9382 pitch. So this one represents pitch. And then we square this whole thing over 4. So this portion here now, this portion is your area. All right. Take note of this. This portion is your area. All right. So... Now, you make N the subject of the formula. How do you do that? You can uh, 
easily if you want uh, if you maybe find it difficult you can just substitute your nouns here and then you simplify or you can just make n the subject of formula how do you do that you just say 4 multiplied by f okay so that's where you have 4f here, here and then you take n across and you take the shear stress down okay across multiplying now so that's way n is there now shear stress is here in the denominator all right so now we are set to go First, we do have it, remember, it's 88 kilonewtons. You multiply by 1,000 to give us newtons, okay? All over pi, where do you get the stress, okay, which is 100? Let's see. You go to table 21, which is um, in page 101 in your book. All right, so we're dealing with the bolts. You remember the grade of the bolts is 4,6, okay? So, we are also dealing with shear stress. Alright, so that's the stress formula, or shear stress formula. So, now, you come here horizontally, and you come here. So, what do you have? 100. So, that's where that 100 comes from. So, our shear stress is 100. Then now, into D. What is D? Is 16 remember m16 m16 that 16 is the size of the bolt so 16 is the diameter of the bolt minus 0 0.9382 times 2 which is our pitch but where do we get that 2 all right we come here this is called an S A S C H and it's going to be provided to you in the exam. Okay, so this table has got um, the sizes of your bolt here. What is the size of our bolt again? Is M16. Remember that. And then if you come to the second column, you this column is for the pitch. Okay, pitch of thread. All right, so in our case is 2 all right so that's where we get 2 all right so there we go 2 pitch and then if you multiply the whole the whole thing here you will get 5,61 which is our n okay so but we are talking about number of bolts so which now we cannot have 5,6 of bolts or 5,6 bolts okay so we have to round up to the nearest whole number all right so the next number is gonna be six remember we are not rounding up because of 0.6 no even if it was 5,1 we won't use 5 because 5 is less than the required number so our connection is gonna fail if we to use 5 so even if it was 5,1 we're gonna round it up to the next or the, to the next nearest um, or to the next um, whole number which will be six okay so we're gonna use six bolts for our connection all right so alternatively you can um use another way okay so stress with share stress is equals to force over n a, you remember I showed you that whole thing there represented the area. Alright. So, now, uh, we make N the subject of formula. Again, you just bring it 
this side and then you bring down the stress and then force is equal to a force i mean number of bolts is equal to force over area multiplied by shear stress okay so but area where can we get area because force we do have to remember force is 88 kilonewtons all right multiplied by 10 to the power 3 to give us newtons right the stress the same way is gonna be 100 all right we're not gonna change that because of the grade 4,6 for the bolts okay so 100 still remains so the area where do you get area or how do you get area let's come back to the same table all right so same table we go to the first column which is about the sizes all right remember the size of our bolt is m16 all right now we go all the way to here where it says the areas okay it's just the stress area but then now the area here is gonna be 157 all right the area of the ball is gonna be 157 so now that's where you get that 157 so if we calculate now we again get 5,6 you round up to the nearest whole number or to the next whole number which is six so we're gonna use six bolts of 16 millimeter diameter all right so that's about it that is five comma one all right stay put for five comma two